Thinking about what to put in your kids' lunchboxes or just what to have with them at home? That's what we're going to talk about today. Welcome to Growing Together. My name is Mel. Alright guys, so in this video we're going to talk again about lunches, different ideas that you could put in kids' lunch boxes, as well as different things that you could have at home. So in the last episode of this series, I talked about different things that you can cook and freeze and put in lunch boxes or as we said, have at home. Today I'm not going to talk about sandwiches or sandwich alternatives or those kind of bigger, beefier things that we tend to like to put in our kids' lunch boxes or again, have at home. Um, today I'm actually going to talk more about some different alternatives for snacks. So in the last episode I did suggest putting in some dips like hummus or tzatziki and chopped up vegetables for your kids to have with those dips. First of all, carrot and cucumber are usually the go-to choice for this and they are great, easy to cut up, easy to store, easy to chuck into a container of any description. Send along with your children to school for lunch or take down to the park for a snack or have at home on the couch or at the table or whatever. So there's actually a variety of vegetables that you can use as well as or instead of the tried and true carrot and cucumber. I will just mention for anyone that isn't in Australia, I will be talking about vegetables using the name that we in Australia use for them. But in the description below, I will put some of their other common names. So for example, when I say zucchini, I'm talking about a courgette. So I'll put all of the names that I use and then their other common names in the description below. All right, so we have carrot, we have cucumber. Another one that is fairly commonly used is capsicum. So obviously you chop out the middle bit with the seeds because they're hotter and less fun to eat when you're eating them raw. Chop them up into reasonable size bits and they can be delicious to have with hummus or as a snack by themselves. Another thing is celery, so that's probably fairly common as well. Usually you would choose to chop off the end bits um, with the leaves and chop off the roots obviously and then peel off some of the more stringy bits. These are another thing that are great either by themselves or with dip and I don't know how many people do this one, but I like to have them with peanut butter. Um, so personally, I prefer crunchy peanut butter, but obviously it's up to you. Peanut butter in the middle of the curved bit of the celery. Personally, I think it's delicious. Not quite as healthy as you might be wanting, so probably do that as something a bit on the sort of special side. And obviously, if your children are at that age where you are avoiding nuts, you won't want to do this and if your children are allergic to nuts obviously again you won't want to do this and if people just don't like it then ignore me. All right so we have so far we have carrot, we have cucumber, we have capsicum, we have celery. Now I'm going to get into some more of the vegetables that maybe aren't necessarily as commonly used in this manner uh, but are really great nonetheless chopped up and like I said had either by themselves or with some dip. So the first of these is the zucchini. So much like a cucumber, you chop off the ends, chop it in half, chop it into small, smallish pieces that can be easily dipped. Uh, this is a vegetable that is usually cooked, but it's actually really great raw as well. So definitely recommend it. Then we have a parsnip. This is one that is often thought of as the kind of vegetable that most people don't like. It's used often by British people in um, roasts, but I know a lot of people would kind of not really like the parsnip, but it's actually a great to go with carrot or as an alternative to carrot. It's crunchy like a carrot. It's a little bit tart. So if your children don't like tartish um, taste, then probably avoid it. But in general, it's very diverse. You can, you would peel it, chop off the end bits and yeah, chop it up and use it. Like I said, either with a carrot or instead of a carrot. I don't actually have one with me, but very similar to the parsnip is the swede. Same thing again. Any of that kind of root vegetable that looks vaguely like this, you can get lots of different um, types of colored carrots you can get lots of different types of swede I think and parsnip 
chips so those are all good options. Next up we have cauliflower and broccoli. These are the two vegetables that are usually cooked and served maybe with, with uh, white sauce and cheese which of course is delicious or in a stew or something like that in a curry. There's all sorts of things you can do with either and of course they're both delicious raw so again chop them up so that they're easy to hold and chuck them in a container or whatever. Then we have snow peas or beans. Uh, there are lots of different kinds of beans so you could be talking about snap beans or you'd be talking about butter beans. All of those sorts of beans that have the long sort of pod and they can all be eaten raw and they're completely delicious. So any of those you would really just need to chop the ends off and get the stringy bits out and again throw them in and away you go. So these are some great alternatives to the standard cucumber and carrot although of course always use the cucumber or carrot when you want to because they are great as well and they are delicious and it means that you can have different vegetables and you can rotate them so that you don't have to just have carrot and cucumber all the time or you don't have to only do the, the veggies once a week you can rotate them and have cucumber and carrot one day and then uh, snow peas and sweet another day and then zucchini and broccoli another day and so on. Now I've mentioned a few times putting them with different kinds of dips and obviously last time I talked to you about hummus and I talked to you about tzatziki both of which are completely delicious dips and really quite healthy easy to put into a container or just straight into a lunchbox and easy for kids to dip in. There are of course lots and lots and lots of different variety of dips. They're usually in the sort of cheese area of your supermarket so go and check those out um, but some others that I would suggest as lovely alternatives maybe not quite as healthy as the hummus but still reasonably healthy for your kids to have if they're having just a little bit in a lunchbox. So we have an avocado dip we have a spring onion dip, we have a French onion dip, we have a corn relish. Those sorts of dips are usually reasonably cheap and definitely delicious, go with all of those different veggies. Of course they also go with crackers as well so you could have veggies and dip one day and crackers and dip the next, however you want to do it. That is a really great snack that you can throw into your kids lunchbox. And they're easy to prepare, you can prepare the night before, you could even prepare your veggies two or three days in advance because of course if you put if you chop them up and put them in the container, put them back in the fridge until they need to be used, you've got a few days leeway with a veggie chop like that. All right guys, so that is my lunchbox ideas for this week. Please comment below if you have any suggestions, any ideas that you'd like me to share. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.